as I mentioned to you earlier, there are 110 to 120 types of brain tumors. So, how do we differentiate whether this is cancer, this is not cancer? So, what is cancer? So, when a tumor which is removed and then the tumor has a potential to come back, when the tumor has a potential to grow spread across, so those are the basic uh, principles of a cancer. So, the cancer can spread, cancer can grow, cancer can regrow. So, these how what are directing these tumors to become cancerous? So, there are specific genes we call the driver mutations that is the one which are responsible to make these cells divide into multiple times and give rise to cancer. So, as such the brain tumors we can divide into three types one is purely benign that is they do not have any features of cancer the other, other group is highly cancerous they grow back, but there is an intermediate type which is potentially cancerous they are benign, but they can become cancer. So, there are I can differentiate the brain tumors into these three types. So, the second one, the third one obvious we know, but the second one is the one which is like what we call as an intermediate type or a potentially malignant. So, how do we know how is which is cancer is by the pathology. So, whatever tumor we remove, we subject them to pathology. Our pathologists do some staining and they do multiple studies on these tissues which we remove from the brain and they will tell us, they will give us the clue that these are the cells which are not good, they can amplify rapidly, they are going to come back very aggressively or these are very safe, they are completely indolent, they are very stable, they do not come back. So, all this information are derived from the tissues which are removed and then subjected for pathological examination. So, that will decide whether this tumor is cancer or non-cancer.